We are following a developing story in Fort Lauderdale's Rio Vista neighborhood, a sewage main break spewing raw sewage into the streets. It's making for a smelly and potentially unhealthy situation for the people who live there. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live now with the latest. Carrie. Yeah, well, this dichotomy is really seen best right behind me. Check it out. Beautiful Christmas lights, Christmas decorations in this upscale community. But the smell, the raw sewage, just quite the juxtaposition here. Uh, and people in this neighborhood have been dealing with this for hours all day along Ponce de Leon Drive in the Rio Vista neighborhood. This began sometime late this morning. City leaders said at a news conference a short time ago that they're still trying to locate and assess the break in this 54-inch sewer main. They are working to try to clean this stuff off the street so they can better figure out where the break is, how to repair it. They're asking people in the area to limit water use as they try to deal with this filthy mess. Cleanup continues along a stretch of Ponce de Leon Drive in the Rio Vista neighborhood of Fort Lauderdale after a 54-inch sewer main break sometime this morning. And it smells. How would you describe the smell? Oh, Undesirable. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a sewer smell. But this is no joking matter. Residents are concerned about the impact on the Tarpon River, which runs behind some of these homes and flows into the new river. All this raw sewer is going down the drain over here at Ponce and Ninth and going right out into the Tarpon River. Strawn French and his wife Beth live on Ponce de Leon Drive and called in the sewer main break to authorities Tuesday morning. And then all of a sudden the water was rushing and then it was smelling and it didn't stop and it was we haven't been able to do anything about it yet. Work crews are trying to repair the break, redirect the flow of the sewage and clean up the mess. Meanwhile, residents are trying to avoid walking in the filth and clearing their trash cans and cars out of the way. One resident told us the city responded quickly to the problem. Their response was immediate. They called me. It was immediate before I even knew about it. They called me. But the concern now is for the neighborhood and the waterway and how long it will take to stem the flow of the nasty sewage filling the street. They've told me they don't know really how to shut it off downstream or upstream actually to start digging. So I think it's probably going to be a while before they get this figured out. People should avoid using the Tarpon River, especially at, from this point eastward. Uh, we are trying to capture as much of the sewage water with our, our, our pump trucks. But to the extent that that's not possible, uh, unfortunately, it's going to go into the water system. Now, just a short time ago, the city put out a news release with updates for the community, some advisories. Now, the orange area is the direct impact area it's seen on this map. That's from US 1 to Cordova Road to the east, from Southeast 11th Court to the Tarpon River to the north. In that area, the city is asking people to avoid any contact with water on the ground. There's also a preliminary advisory for water related activities along the Tarpon River flowing into the New River and east and west on the New River. Uh, and also some waterways to the east of this area here along Rio Vista. The city wants to reiterate this does not affect drinking water. There is no boil water notice in effect at this point. This affects the sewer system. We'll keep you updated. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.